In Budapest, Madonna announces she's pregnant. October 14th, Lourdes Maria Ciccone Leon is born. Uh, am I looking forward to Evita? Not particularly, you know what I'm saying? I don't really care, not unless it was like Yvette. I don't know, I had too many show tunes going, coming my way growing up. Carousel, Oklahoma, South Pacific. Uh, don't cry for me, Argentina. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't think so. I think it's cool she's, she's a model. I did think it was funny though, that's like the most celebrated illegitimate child in the history of the world. What's the baby's name? Lourdes. Lourdes? Isn't, Lourdes? That, a Span isn't that a Spanish name? I think it's Latina. It's a Latino name, Lourdes. I'd like to have a kid. I mean, I I, I, I probably will wait till I'm married because I'm old-fashioned, but uh, I think it's cool. You know, she's done everything else, for God's sake, so. <laughs> Most people are actually going to get to see the film, but I was lucky enough to get a sneak preview, and I have to tell you, Evita is spectacular. But what else would you expect from Madonna? I mean, she's a woman who continually redefines the word superstar. I got a chance to sit down with Madonna, who shared her private thoughts on everything from music to movies to motherhood. When you think of, I guess, what it is that you would like for this film to accomplish, historically, mm -hmm. in your career, mm -hmm. in this moment in time, mm -hmm. what do you think? I would hope that people would have a better sense of who Ava Perón was. Would would instead of seeing her as, you know, the wife of a fascist dictator, uh, this incredibly ambitious, power-hungry woman, I would like to, for them to think of her as a human being. Mm -hmm. um, that's what I want artistically um, for the film. And for myself, I would like, um, I would like for people to see me as an actress. Evita is Madonna's 14th major film role. But since the rave reviews she received for her performance in Desperately Seeking Susan, critical acclaim has eluded her. Many say Evita is her last shot at making it on the big screen. And Madonna says there are more than a few people who would love to see her fail. Something struck me when I was watching the film. Mm -hmm. And I found myself thinking about you. Mm -hmm. And I wondered why, and I would like to, I guess, understand if you know why people just always sort of, they judge you, they make comments, they, they almost seem to, you know, like build you up to want to pull you down. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that happens? I think for the most part, people are still really kind of uncomfortable with a, a powerful, successful female. I think that's one thing. And I think that we all have a love-hate relationship with, with celebrities, you know? It's like we kind of, we root for them, but on the other hand, you know, we kind of, you know, like to hear terrible stories about them, you know? It's, it's like stopping, you know, with the accident on the side of the road, you know, that kind of fascination with, with uh, something bad happening to somebody. Um, mm -hmm. um, I don't know, I think it just comes with the territory. I am a worker, I've suffered the way that But Madonna did. has never let her detractors get in her way. She was going to play Evita, come hell or high water. She immersed herself in the character, read every word written about her, and talked with anyone she could find that knew her. According to Madonna's diaries, she became so involved in the role that she actually dreamed she was Evita. She even dreamed that, like Evita, she was dying of cancer. I don't think I've ever seen anyone actually be immersed in it for so long because it was such a big film, you know. In a way, we made two movies because we had to do 400 hours of recording in a recording studio before we even got onto the film set. So uh, it was a very long haul, you know. She didn't, so, and she was focused for a very long time, which is pretty incredible. Don't cry for me, Argentina. Madonna's hard work has paid off. And nowhere in the film is this more evident than in this touching scene. Evita is led on to the palace balcony to sing Don't Cry For Me Argentina to thousands of adoring supporters. It won't be easy, you'll think it's strange when I try to explain how I feel. By stepping onto the balcony, Madonna once again did the impossible. The government had rejected repeated requests to film at Casa Rosada, Argentina's presidential palace. But with time running out, Madonna used her charm to get the country's president to change his mind. Girl you once knew, the 
though she's dressed up. How relieved were you when two days before you actually shot the famous balcony scene when the president said that he would allow you all to film there? I was relieved. <laughs> I mean, you know, I. I was so disappointed because we were very close to, you know, leaving the country to go mm -hmm. on to, to Budapest and I thought, I can't believe we've come this far and we're not going to film on the balcony. And that was the one thing I wanted to do more than anything, to walk out on the Casa Rosada balcony and, and look out into the Plaza de Mayo and, and see all these people and sing Don't Cry For Me. I mean, that's the ultimate moment in the movie. and. Yeah. To, to have to leave without having that experience was so disappointing. So when it happened, that was, I mean, it was a dream. Don't cry for me, Argentina. The truth is I never left you. All through my wild days, my mad existence, I kept my promise. Don't keep your distance. And you sang so many of the songs throughout the soundtrack. How, how, how did you juggle all of this and keep your sanity and your voice? I'm not sure. <laughs> um, good sense of humor. Yeah. And do you think your fans will respond well to you doing Andrew Lloyd Webber and Broadway musical? If they're really my fans, I think they will, yeah. Next up, it's Latin heartthrob Antonio Banderas, who's gonna tell us about his passion for Evita. You are gonna see a Madonna that you've never seen in your entire life, not even in videos or in her singing. Welcome back to this very special edition of Flix. I'm VH1 Cynthia Garrett here in Los Angeles at the premiere of Evita. Now I can only think of one thing more exciting than being here tonight, and that's being alone with Antonio Banderas. Well, I got him all to myself just a little while ago, and Antonio, as you might know, plays Che, the skeptical everyman who chronicles Evita's climb to power. You know, everyone has been talking about Madonna's passion for this movie and, and why she wanted to make it. And I understand that you have your own story about your experiences with the Vida every night near your home. Will you tell us about that? Yes, I was living in a, in a pension in, in Madrid. Uh, and the times that I didn't have a penny in my pocket. And, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> and they were performing in a theater. It was just wall to wall with this pension of each. And, and until 1 o'clock or 1.30 in the morning, they were performing of it. And it was a pain. It was a pain. Were you ever afraid of doing this as a musical? Did you ever think, hmm, this is risky? Yes, yes, I did. I'm still, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it, it does, but, but that's a challenge. I mean, the, the story of an actor is full of that. And I love challenges, and I took a lot of them. I mean, <laughs> being here in America, from playing vampires to action movies to comedies, and now doing a musical, so it's one step more in the risks that I, that I took during my whole life. How did you feel when, you know, you're, at, you're out in the middle of this foreign country and you're, you're taking a risk? And the star of the movie, the other star, comes and she says, I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, it, it was almost at the end of the movie. I mean, I knew that she was pregnant uh, a couple of weeks before we finished shooting. Mm -hmm. um, well, I felt, you know, just great about her. And mm -hmm. uh, it was, I knew that, that it was something that she was, you know, pursuing for, for a long time. And, and suddenly, well, it's, yeah. it's beautiful. And yesterday I was introduced to the baby, and, and she looks so Spanish <laughs> and so cool. <laughs> the long black hair, it is so cool, you know. Even though Madonna was well into her pregnancy when he led her in this beautiful waltz, Antonio says his co-star was truly graceful. From her biggest scenes to her quietest on-screen moments, he says Madonna's performance is incredibly powerful and moving. Madonna has at the end of the movie when she's dying mm. in bed that is, um, I think it's a little jewel in the movie, you know, it's a piece of art right there in which you are going to see a, Ma a Madonna that you've never seen in your entire life, not even in videos or in, in her singing, is the, the a truth that is coming from I don't know where. This is not a video clip, it's a two hours and 15 minutes uh, movie that you have to 
carry all the way through and uh, in the way she come to the screen uh, is gorgeous. I, I am pretty proud that I work with her. It's every girl's dream and I got to live it, spending time alone with Antonio Banderas. But I have to tell you that I was very impressed with his genuine warmth and style. He's sincere and humble and talented and he's also very good looking. Now we've got a lot more in store for you from this wild scene at the Shrine Auditorium, including some surprising revelations from the material girl herself. But first, here she is with Cherish. So we're all here to see Madonna tackle her biggest challenge yet. Don't touch that remote. Hollywood's biggest stars are gonna tell us what they think about Madonna's Evita. Did you cry? Your eyes are red. Yeah, I cried, I did. I was very moved. I, Madonna was brilliant. Welcome back to the premiere of the most anticipated movie of the year, Evita. The film's leading lady, Madonna, is known for getting what she wants, and she fought extremely hard for the role that she says she was destined to play. But has she gained the respect of her colleagues? Well, that's the big question tonight, and I got a chance to ask all the big names. Did you love the movie, Glenn? Excuse me, yes, I did. I really, really did. I don't think there's, I think it's bro broken new ground. I mean, you, there's nothing like it that I've ever seen, and I think it's just, it's huge in every way. It's so beautiful, it's not like a regular movie. I've always loved the music from Evita, and um, I thought Banderas was great. I think Madonna gave a performance of her life there, you know? I'm kind of speechless. It was mesmerizing. Did you cry? Your eyes are red. Yeah, I cried. I did. I was very moved. I, Madonna was brilliant. I've never seen anything like it. I didn't know it was going to be as completely full of music as it was. It was a surprise. It was a pleasant surprise. Madonna looked like a million bucks. That's all I have to say. And stand back. Buenos Aires, hey! Well, I'd call this an incredible showing of star support for Madonna at L.A. Shrine Auditorium tonight. And Hollywood's verdict is finally in. Evita is a smashing success. We'll have more for you from the woman of the hour in just a few minutes. But first, let's take a look at one of her most romantic ballads, Take a Bow. For a bullfighter, I guess you can say that Madonna's leading men always put up a good fight. We'll have more from my exclusive interview with the lady herself in just a moment and you're not going to believe what she had to say. Sometimes I feel my mother's presence when I look into my daughter's eyes and I think that everything I missed by not having a mother is all going to come, come back to me by having a daughter. And when she's all grown up and she looks at Evita, which will then be a classic many years from now. I say you were in that movie too. <laughs> Welcome back to this special edition of vh one Splicks. I'm Cynthia Garrett. Award-winning actor Jonathan Price shares the screen with Madonna playing Evita's husband, the legendary and very handsome Juan Peron. Jonathan said he hardly got any sleep while filming in Buenos Aires because every night crowds gathered outside the hotel to serenade his co-star. Well, according to Madonna, nobody got any sleep making Evita because of the grueling production schedule. And it only got more challenging when she found out she was expecting a baby. Now, right in the middle of making the most important movie of your life and achieving, I guess, one of the most important goals that you had set for yourself to date, you found out that you were pregnant. Mm -hmm. What was your reaction? Uh-oh. <laughs> now what? Um... I mean, it was, uh, I think I said, oh my God, about a hundred times. Um, but, but I never felt bad about it. I mean, it was always like, okay, okay, let, okay, let me figure this one out. Okay, let me, let me think this one through. Okay, how's this going to work? Okay, you know. Uh, I, I mean, I was really excited and really nervous and uh, just really wanting so badly to get through the movie and not, you know, not get in the way of what we were doing work-wise. When I was speaking with Alan, the director, Alan Parker, he said, he said, well, she called me and she said, Alan, are you sitting down? <laughs> <laughs> I did say that. What was his reaction? Oh, dear. <laughs> he was great, though. I mean, I was expecting him to, to get really mad at me or to be angry with me in some way or start talking about the movie and all he did was like ask about how I felt and and was I happy and I mean I thought that was a really yeah. generous thing. 
did you find yourself feeling in some way that you owed even an even better performance? Yeah, I did. I felt like, oh God, now everybody's going to start treating me with like kid gloves or, right. you know, I didn't want to be all of a sudden this invalid that everybody was tiptoeing around. The film schedule was stepped up to finish Madonna's scenes before she began to show. When the movie wrapped, she was four months pregnant and very much looking forward to motherhood. Sometimes I feel my mother's presence when I look into my daughter's eyes and I think, I think um, that everything I missed by not having a mother is all going to come, come back to me by having a daughter. And when she's all grown up and she looks at Evita, which will then be a classic, many years from now. I say you were in that movie too. <laughs> yeah, she actually was. I know. <laughs> and then after that, what how would you explain to her why that why this picture was so important to mommy? Because it gave me the chance to play a remarkable woman and it gave me the chance to be as creative as I could be as an artist. It gave me the chance to really fully realized myself as an artist, it gave me a chance to express myself in so many ways and, and it made me feel very proud of myself. You know, I, I've, I've heard that you said um, and have said, and I said the same thing also, that I want to have lots of kids. Mm -hmm. And then after I had my son, who's now four, I sometimes go, huh. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that again. <laughs> what do you think now? I think I'd like to have one more. I think I could do it one more time. But, you know, she's so young. I'd like to wait a little while. Mm -hmm. Well, everything else agrees with Madonna, so why should motherhood? In this next video, she's going to offer us some motherly advice. Express yourself. Party and Madonna's already gone in. Antonio Banderas is in there. George Clooney is also here. Don't you dare touch that remote. You're watching another VH1 exclusive. Take you to the hottest backstage bash of the year. Welcome back to this very special edition of Flix. I'm VH1 Cynthia Garrett here in Los Angeles at the premiere of Evita. Like the movie, the post-premiere celebration is a scene right out of the 1940s. Reminiscent of a vintage Hollywood party, everything about this bash is bigger than life. The ballroom at LA's historic Shrine Auditorium is jam-packed with Tinseltown's most powerful people, all hoping to get a chance to congratulate Evita's leading lady. But even catching a glimpse of Madonna in this crowd is a long shot. I'm Cynthia Garrett, wrapping things up at the Los Angeles premiere of Evita. And I guess you could say it's been absolutely overwhelming. Everybody from Madonna to Antonio Banderas has been right here giving us the inside scoop. You know, we couldn't end this evening without that famous scene from that famous